this little farm in the big city. It's kind of cold outside, and I'm going to head inside in here in just a minute. I've been outside all afternoon having a good time with the animals, but I need to get my Dia de los Muertos, Altura finished, and I haven't even got started yet, so I thought maybe you would like to watch and see what I'm doing. <laughs> of course you do. All right then, let's go ahead and get started. To get this project started, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need some white tissue paper. I got some Mod Podge. I have some skeletons. Now I got these in a little goodie bag at the thrift store, but I think you can find these items at the dollar store, because I've seen these at the dollar store before. And we're going to transform these from ske scary skeletons into sugar skulls. And I got this at the dollar store as well, a little wooden butterfly. I have my paint markers. But you can use any kind of paint or any kind of markers. And I have some white glue. It must be rush hour because cars are going up and down the street like crazy. So I hope it's not too loud. But we're going to go ahead and get started here in my office. And I have my desk protected and I laid these little, have these little skeletons right here. And let's see, where's that other skeleton? And I need the Mod Podge. So this is how we're going to start. I'm going to use this tissue and this Mod Podge on our little plastic friends here because they're very plasticky looking and very scary looking. I've never done this kind of thing before so I'm going to try to see if this works or not. But um, we'll see, right? That's how you do it on the little farm. You try it. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, you try something different. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear the tissue up a little bit. I'm going to put some Mod Podge on here and then add the tissue to it. I think it should stick. And make it look a little more like a paper mache skeleton instead of a, a plastic looking thing. That's what that's the look I'm look going for. I'm going to try to make this go from plastic looking to paper mache looking. I mean it's cute, but I think I can make it cuter. So we're going to let those sit and dry, and then we're going to work on this guy. Now this guy has a special job. He's going to be attached to the butterfly. So we're going to go ahead and get him started, and I am think I'm going to Mod Podge and try. I don't see he has all these little details, so I may, because I want him to be white. I want his bones to be white, and I want him to have a handcrafted look, and I don't think the Mod Podge is going to do it. So I got to think of something. I think I might Mod Podge him, then paint him, then Mod Podge him again, or paint him, then Mod Podge. I don't know. I'm going to try a couple of things. So hang in there. Let's see what happens.
So we're going to let these dry and we'll finish them tomorrow because it should be nice and dry tomorrow. It looks really good. I believe I'm going to put another coat of paint on these. This guy came out really good. I just got to figure out how to get my brush inside his rib cage, I think. And maybe right here. So I'm going to do a little bit more painting and then we'll let it dry. I did another coat of paint on my little skulls. I separated the base from my butterfly. I just pulled it out. It took a little effort, but it happened. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace a design on this and then I'm going to color in with my markers. And then I'll glue my little skeleton guy on here. I'm going to go ahead and fa paint the faces on all my skeletons to make them look like sugar skulls. And then we'll put our Altura together. My little skeletons are going to take the place of actual sugar skulls, so I'm going to go ahead and get their faces painted. Now that I have everything ready, I'm going to go ahead and put my altar together. Well, my altura is all finished. And I have all of my friends and family that have passed away. Their pictures displayed. And special elements that make it all one thing. I have the water for when they make the passage between our world and theirs if they get thirsty. I have the pan de muertos here in case they get hungry during their passage. I have the little butterfly that helps them get back and forth between the two worlds. I have some special mementos that remind me of each other, that remind me of the people that have passed. This little ring my grandmother gave me. This necklace used to belong to my grandfather and my grandmother. It's a really na nice way to remember people who passed away. Thank you for joining me on this little family tradition that I've been doing for the last few years. We really didn't do it when I was a child, but I'm really happy that I've started doing it about five years ago. I started making it, and I'm really glad that you joined me to share in this little tradition that I do on the little farm. 
Now, we've had a lot of fun with these recent holidays, but I think it's time we get back to work. Don't you agree? I think I have a barn to clean. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you for visiting Miss Annette's little farm in the big city. Get outside today. Take a walk. Take a little time for yourself. All right? And we'll see you next time. Bye!